The Bible says, Then said Jonathan, My father hath troubled the land. See, I pray you, how mine eyes have been enlightened, because I tasted a little of this honey. Jonathan is like all of us, child of God, in the fight against the enemy. His father Saul is like the flesh, that enemy within that keeps you from drawing close to God. And the honey that Jonathan found on the ground is a picture of the Word of God. Do you see what the Lord is trying to tell us in this illustration? In the spiritual fight with the enemy without, we have an enemy within, the flesh, that wants to keep you from the only thing that will give you victory and open your eyes. It is the Word of God, which David said was more to be desired than gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Sweeter than honey to his taste, the psalmist wrote. That honey that you find on the ground that God has brought to you will open your eyes today and give you the strength for victory over the enemy. But you've inherited this flesh from your father Adam, this fallen nature that wants nothing to do with God, that would leave you famished and starving in the fight against the enemy. You and I have to work against that. You and I have to be aware of that. And you and I need to taste just a little honey from God's Word to get the strength and the sweetness to our soul to overcome and win the battle. Who will you listen to? Saul, the flesh, that wants to leave you weak and decrepit in the battle against the enemy without? Or will you taste a little of the honey that God has brought to your ground so that your eyes can be opened and you can be enlightened today about what your life is really all about, what Jesus Christ has done for you, and the victory you can have through Him? Will you taste a little honey? Or will you stay troubled in the land? The choice is yours. Think about it.